Amid New York's ever-growing restaurant scene is one of the city's most trusted havens for Italian-American food. It's known for its tagliatelle alla bolognese, but arguably just as much for its roster of celebrity customers. And the man standing beside them in the photos? That's Emilio. This is Emilio's Bellato, and it's been serving some of New York's most sought-after Italian food since 1956. It's not only the best new restaurant that I know, it's the best restaurant in New York City. And okay. it's a whale of a hard place to get into in the evenings. We're in Nolita today, and we're heading to Emilio's Bellato. To be honest, we found out about this place from Instagram and all of the celebrity photos at the restaurant. So we're heading in to find out, basically, for celebrities that can get a table anywhere in the city, why are they coming here? Let's go in. The menu at Emilio's Bellato is simple. It's focused on Italian-American classics that executive chef Anthony Vitolo and his brothers learned from their father. My father started the restaurant, so our meals together were, were our love, you know, because he was always working. So being here was the love. This place became our home. That love has translated into many customers' cherished dishes, like Bellato's bestseller, Tagliatelle alla Bolognese. It starts with a blend of pork and beef, typically cooked in 100-pound batches, which lasts roughly three days. Well, next goes in the tomato paste. That'll cook down a little bit, and then I hit it with white wine. That has to cook down. And then Anthony finally adds in a secret white sauce, mixing it all thoroughly with a wooden spatula. But it's not ready until six hours later, when the bolognese has finished slow cooking on the stove. And with cheese imported from Italy, the shaved parmesan is the final cue mm. that the dish is ready. <sighs> I'm nervous. <laughs> Feeling anxious because I've been awaiting this moment. It's like uncomparable for many, many bolognese I've had. A lot have been too thick and too heavy, but this cooks for six hours is what Anthony was telling us. So after that time, what looked to be like it was gonna be a really creamy sauce ends up just absorbing. And so you don't get a heavy, saucy dish. You get like really just that meat and that fresh pasta. Amazing. She wanted my entree and I wanted hers. So we ate each other's food yeah. the whole time. We shared the whole thing because it was both, I mean, there was no like Since opening its doors in 1956, Bellatus has been a familiar place for high profile people, like Andy Warhol, who's displayed front and center on the menu. But the restaurant isn't what you imagine a typical celeb hangout to be. It's small, homely, unassuming, with only 10 tables packed together in its front room. It doesn't isolate the famous, but rather seats celebrities and regular customers among one another, and accepts customers regardless of fame on a strictly walk-in basis. And yet there's a reason one of Bellato's most loyal regulars, Lenny Kravitz, has been coming for over 20 years. He's all love, Lenny's all love, so he, he spreads the word. His daughter has been coming here since she was like seven, eight years old. What is Lenny Kravitz's favorite meal? Do you know? Lenny Kravitz loves the rigatoni zucchini. You know, it's very simple, this is the restaurant, where people who own Italian restaurants come to eat. I bring everybody here. I bring every, everybody. It's like, oh, I want to go here. I want to go. No, there's only one place to go if you want Italian food. 